Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined by Margaret Hagen from UNH Cooperative Extension. Margaret, the seasons are changing, as they are wont to do here in New Hampshire. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about today some uh, fall containers and maybe something a little bit different. And you wanted to point out something down here in front for the viewers. Right. There. Well, that's a really simple container, and all it is is three different types of kale and some dusty miller and all by itself it makes a really nice statement and the best thing about it is that kale doesn't die with the first hard frost it will do well until temperatures are in the high 20s so all the way up till thanksgiving and as the gets colder the red pigmentation comes out more okay great now in front of me right here we have something that's a little bit more traditional it this is. is kind of what everybody thinks of when they think of fall flowers and that's the mums that's the mums and mums um, are great but they don't tolerate frost as well as the cabbage and kale one nice thing about them is you can move them to your garden after they're finished in a container so there is the possibility that that these could come back and I know we're going to be right. talking about perennials in just a little bit but they could serve as that as well they could all right now this is a flower that I've been told is very delicate and tough to grow <laughs> but it seems to like where it is at my house and the Japanese anemone the here. Japanese anemone actually gets about three feet high and if you have a lot of plants it makes a really big um, show and it just likes really rich organic moist soil probably an eastern or northern exposure and apparently can tolerate a little bit of neglect as well oh, yeah, it, oh yeah. <laughs> Where I'm concerned. Why don't we talk about some of the other things here? And these may be a little bit more unusual. They are a little bit more unusual, but if you're doing a container and then you want to move things into your perennial garden instead of um, not being able to recycle the plants, perennials are always good. Um, sedums are pretty standard, and usually they have either a reddish pink or a pink flower, and they're gorgeous. This one has nice red stems. This is um, a plant called Hellenium or Sneezeweed, and that particular one is Mardi Gras, and that will bloom into October. Oh, into October as mm -hmm. well. So this, all the plants we're showing you now, will they take These a, will take light frost. Light frost. Light okay. frost, and they won't look bad until the end of, middle to the end of October. This is a dwarf fountain grass. This is a schizcreum, and it's got blue foliage to it. All of these are perennial as well as, this is Coryopsis or tick seed, and um, it will do two flushes of bloom. So if you deadhead the flowers in late June or July, you'll get a second flush of bloom in early fall. All right, so there you go, some ideas for this fall season, and hopefully make your gardening a little bit brighter. Back to you in the studio.